Hi everyone, so if you're wondering why I'm wearing the same clothes as my kind of few previous videos, I'm not a complete skank who doesn't shower and wears the same clothes every day, as you probably all know, but um, yeah, I've just kind of filmed them all in one go and I'm going to upload them. So this video is going to be about cream cleansers, um, hot cloth cream cleansers that is. Now the most famous hot cloth cleanser is obviously the Lizelle Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. I've got a little mini one here because I gave my big one to a friend of mine who was visiting because she tried it and she really loved it so I gave her mine and I need to pick up a new one for me. But the kind of basic premises behind this particular product is you smooth it onto your skin while dry, you give your skin a nice massage and then you remove it with a damp muslin cloth. This one right here is by Soap and Glory but you can get them anywhere, the sanctuary do them, you can buy them in mother care even if you want to um, get kind of like a pack of a few of them for like three pounds. But the kind of basic idea is they're very brightening, they're very kind of soothing, they feel like almost a mini facial, they're great at removing makeup and a lot of people really, really, really swear by the Liz Earl one. I absolutely adore the Liz Earl one, I adore everything about it, I can't fault it, but the only thing is, is it's a little bit difficult to get hold of. You can most of the time just buy it online or in John Lewis stores, but I don't live anywhere near a John Lewis store and it's a little bit hard to get hold of. So I've got a few alternatives here. The first one I want to mention is one that I haven't got with me because I've got a feeling it has been discontinued, but just hear me out. In Tesco's a few months ago, or I don't know when it was, you could buy one by a brand called Be Natural. Now I saw Holly from what, um, YMBB beauty blog or whatever it's called. Um, I saw her do a blog post about it ages and ages and ages ago and I kind of made a mental note and I picked it up and it was basically the same idea. It was about five pounds but you had to buy the cloth separately and it was basically kind of Tesco's version of a hot cloth cleanser and it was a really nice one, really natural and I bought one and I really liked it and then I've lost it. I don't know what the hell I have done to it but I've just put it somewhere and it is never to be found again and I've searched everywhere. So that was a really, really nice one. If you can find that one or if you know the one I'm talking about, then that is a little um, supermarket gem, but I haven't found it anywhere again. Then another one that I really like is the Soap and Glory Fab Pour Hot Cloth Cleanser, which looks like this. I'm going to get it out of its packaging. And I've done a full blog post about this, so I'll link that in the description box if you want a full review. But this has got sweet almond, orange and lavender oils in it. Love the packaging, as always, Soap and Glory. And this is a really nice, um, kind of really smooth, really gentle, but really effective hot cloth cleanser. And I love using hot cloth cleansers when I'm in the bath. I'll kind of smooth them over my face, let them sink in for a while, and then I'll run the muslin cloth onto hot water, place that on my face, leave it for a couple of minutes, and then kind of massage it off. And you just are left with the most perfect, glowing, beautiful, clean skin. The only issue I have with this is it can irritate my eyes a little bit. It's not the best at removing eye makeup, so you might want to bear that one in mind if you're um, someone who like wears contact lenses or something or has really sensitive eyes. I don't wear contact lenses, but my eyes are quite sensitive, and this can kind of make them a little bit red, but this is a really, really lovely, lovely hot cloth cleanser, and I think it's about £9, so it's a little bit cheaper than the Lizelle. The Lizelle is around... £13 I think so it's a little bit cheaper and you get a free cloth and the cloth is really nice quality too. Then another one that I've tried was the number 7 Beautiful Skin Hot Cloth Cleanser. I've done a review of this on my blog as well which I will link in the description box but this is a really really great value for money type of product. You get 200 mils, which the Soap and Glory one is um, 100ml and I think the large Lizelle ones 100 mils too but the Soap and Glory one is 200 mils and it costs £10 but as always um, make sure that you've got your number 7 £5 off vouchers because you can get this for £5 and that's just like ridiculously cheap you get 200 mils of cleanser a cloth and you get it all for five pounds that's absolutely incredible so this is what it looks like it's got a kind of pump action which i really like it's kind of like a little bit more of a 
thinner consistency. I'm going to open it and show you actually. I'm going to squeeze a little bit out. And it's perfect too because I've got some foundation on my hand which I couldn't get off. But that's what it looks like. If you see it's a kind of white cream. But it's kind of more a consistency like a body lotion or something. And then you rub it in. Like so. And then you just remove it with your damp cloth. This isn't a damp cloth, this is a dry cloth, but actually I've got some water here. So let's do like a little chemistry class. Okay, I've got a little bit of water on my muslin cloth now. And then you just polish it off. Circular motions. And as you can see, it has removed the foundation that I had on my hand. You can see that there it's a little bit mucky looking. But it's removed my foundation and it's got a really lovely scent, the number seven one. It's kind of very classic number seven and it's great, great value for money. And a couple of other ones that I have used before that I haven't got because I've just given them away or used them up was the Super Drug Vitamin E Hot Cloth Cleanser. I didn't like that one. It was too sort of thick and I just didn't get on with that one. And also the Sanctuary one I liked, but I didn't like the smell of it. I really think it smelled like hay. It was a really weird smell and I just didn't like the smell of it. But it's just kind of proof that when you've got a classic, iconic product like the Lizelle Cleanse and Polish, so many brands try and do dupes for it. And, you know, it's kind of like with the YSL T Chaclat. You get so many brands trying to do dupes for the T-shirt Claire, like you have the Rimmel one, um, Natural Collection do one, Lancome do one, loads of brands try and do that, by Terry do one, and um, it just proves you that that's kind of the beauty of a cult classic product, that when people are trying to copy you, it means you're doing something right. So if I had to pick my favourite one, the ones that I would repurchase, then I am afraid to say I would still pick the Lizelle Cleanse and Polish just because I love the consistency, it's great for my skin, it doesn't break me out, it's really gentle and just smells incredible and I absolutely love it. But if I had to pick another one, I think I would buy the number seven Beautiful Skin one again because I feel like it's just great value for money and it's kind of, it's kind of a very, very similar product but it's a little bit lighter so it's kind of nicer if you have got more oily skin and I know that a lot of people seem to think that hot cloth cleansers are only for people with dry skin and I completely disagree I've got super super oily skin and I think they work really really amazing for my skin type anyway so I think it is something that's just very much a case of trial and error and you need to kind of just make sure that it works for your skin but with most skin types I think you should be okay with using something like this and they're just a lovely kind of ritual type of product to use in the evening because you're kind of giving your face like a mini face with a little bit of a pamper and I really really love that so I hope you enjoyed this video I'm sorry it's a little bit dark it's just really really dark outside I'm sat like right in front of a window but it's just really dark outside so there's not much I can do about that but I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all soon bye bye